Hey, what's going on? I'm Whistling Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to beat yet another boss in Warframe. This time, we're going to learn to fight Alad V and his pet, Zanuka. The fight is just called Alad V. He is technically the target, but he's protected by this the pet, which we'll see when we get out there. And yeah, it's not too terrible of a fight. It can be annoying if you don't know what's going on, as always. So I'm going to try, at least, to make your life just a little bit easier. Alright, so without further ado, I recommend you use someone tanky once again, like Rhino, or I figured out there's another Warframe that has a very similar ability to Rhino's Iron Skin called Neza, or Neza. And I've been having a lot of fun playing as Neza, so maybe at the end screen you'll see me play her, or him. I think it's a him, actually. Anyway, maybe at the end screen you'll see me play that Warframe, and you can see why I love it so much. Uh, okay, yeah, Frost will also work. Just something tanky that is, doesn't take much damage. And as always, my mods are pretty much the same. Steel Fiber, Redirection, Intensify, Primed Continuity, Streamline, Flow, Transient Fortitude, and Stretch. And of course, I've got myself a Steel Charge, just because it gives me that extra mod capacity which by now it's just awesome I love it love mod capacity it's like my favorite thing in the game wish I could get it for my Sabaris here and I did form on my Sabaris so now I can fit on eight mods and it looks really nice and it's my OCD is not going well isn't there a monitor so that's super important I believe for this fight you're gonna want magnetic damage primarily I also have toxin on here uh, just because it does do that little bit of extra damage and it is pretty effective against this boss. So it's pretty good to have, but magnetic you want the most because that's what Zanuk is weakest against. And that's what we want to focus on. We want to focus on fighting the pet. Which is weird, and I'll show you why it's weird when we get there. But yeah, right now, Cry Rounds and Stormbringer. And the most three most important mods, as always, Serration... And the cry arounds and Stormbringer so we can make magnetic damage. Everything else is just sort of like nice to have. It's like, like I said in my last video, sprinkles. But I've used that already. So we'll say whipping cream. It's just a beautiful topping that tastes absolutely delicious. Alright, I think that's everything we really need to know about the mods. I'm also leveling this baby up again. Uh, formed it. So it's really nice. It's going to do... Lots of damage, and I'm incredibly excited for that. So let's just copy my Warframe colors. That, uh, that could look better. But whatever, we're just going to make these look real pretty here. I should have done this before the video, but that's totally fine. Alright, we're good. We look good. Because in this game, looking good? If you don't look good, probably shouldn't even play. It's all about looking good. Alright, so it's on Jupiter. Second time in a row we're on Jupiter. Last time was a forward invasion. So we got kind of lucky. And here is Alad V. He's 18 to 20. So a lot lower level than forward was. Forward was like 30 something. So. But yeah. Here we go. He's on Themisto. On Jupiter. And it's a. F it's a frustrating fight. I don't know if I like this one as much as some of the other ones. It can be kind of annoying. So I think that for this video, because the boss fight's starting to get a little bit harder, not much, but a little bit, and I just want to get like a perfect clear. I don't want anything to go wrong. Knock on wood. Ha 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 ha. But yeah, I don't want anything to go wrong, so I'm going to try to get as much energy as I can. As I can, because I don't think I can do it with one iron skin this time. Especially if I'm going to show the abilities and stuff. But the abilities for this fight, there's nothing really super special. It's just how you fight, how you fight them is what's important. If that makes any sense at all to you, I hope it does. Because if not, then I'm just a crazy man. And... Oops, I missed. Oh, it doesn't matter. Sentinel down. All right. So I'm just trying to get what I can really. Also, if you're reloading, don't open lockers. It will interrupt it every time, and I'm not sure why. I mean, I guess it makes sense. 
But it's kind of annoying. Alright, I think we should have enough energy now at 155. If not, then I'll know for next time. But yeah, 155 energy should be enough for my build and my frame right now. So let's bum rush the boss here. Sorry, I. It's like in my nature to want to explore every part of the map. So bum rushing the boss is like super difficult for me to do, like mentally, because I just want to explore. And a lot of times I'll say, let's bum rush it, and then I'll go off and do my own thing. But all oh, right, I was bum rushing. So yeah, and this is the boss room. There's one entrance yet again, one exit, and they're the same this time. So that's cool. And you can also skip animations of a lot of abilities by using the ability while reloading. And that's super good, because that animation could kill you, all things considered. So for this fight, Zanuka, that's this thing here, is going to follow you. You can just shoot at it and kill it that way. But that's going to take forever. What you're going to really want to do is find this guy, your target, and shoot him till he's dead. Now Zanuka's going to run over. Zanuka's going to run over. Eventually. And revive him, and then he's going to have the same shield he ha uh, Captain Vor had. He also does this. He does this big flash animation, which I totally forgot about. But yeah, he does a big flash that'll blind you, and that's kind of annoying. So you want to focus on taking him down, and then focus on taking Zanuka down after he's down. See, he's down, now we're going to shoot at Zanuka. Just to help make the boss go by a little bit quicker. And of course, take out the ads. They're very annoying. So there we go, we've got Iron Skin going. And sort of just rinse and repeat my strategy here, keep taking down Alad V, until Zanuka eventually dies. And Zanuka has a lot of HP. And there's this shield I was talking about. And there we go. If you just focus him down that way, the fight's going to be a lot easier. Focus Alad V, then you're going to have Zanuka off of you. And you don't have to worry about it that way. You don't have to worry about what Zanuka's doing because he's always reviving Alad V. And then you can shoot at Zanuka while he's reviving Alad. You just have to be careful because there is a time where both of them are invulnerable. Which I should have showed. But there will be a time, just when he's reviving them only, that they're both invulnerable to damage. Um, but Zanuka will lose a little bit of health every time you take down Alad. And that's the easiest way to cut through Zanuka's shields. So yeah, just make sure you're trying to do that as much as possible. Just, like I said, rinse and repeat, just keep taking uh, Alad V down. Five. Salad 5. <laughs> oh, bad choice. But yeah, keep taking Alad down and then shoot Zanuka when you can, when he's not invulnerable and he's trying to get there. Because he won't be attacking you and that's nice when you can focus him because he's not focusing you. Hopefully my guide made sense. If not, as always, leave a comment and I can try to answer any questions you may have, stuff like that. And of course if you have questions, never be afraid to ask. I love answering them. I love talking and communicating with my audience. And we'll give you a quick crash course in killing Bursa. Oh, I'm very stuck on the ground. Here. Okay, so you want to get behind the Bursa and shoot him up. Boom, you just learned how to beat a Bursa. There we go. This one does... That Bursa did throw on a... Sort of shield on me? But it wasn't a very nice shield because it made it so that I couldn't use abilities. And it's still on me. Oh, my whole ship. That seems dangerous. My whole ship might not be able to fly now. I don't know how that field of energy works. But for Bursa, you want to get behind them and shoot them because their front is shielded. And that is pretty much all you need to know about Alibi and Bursa. And the Bursa are very annoying because they have a lot of health. And they do a lot of damage if you're not paying attention. And they also have different status debuffs, stuff like that. I don't know, it's not, a, it's, it's not a nice time. But, as always, thank you so much for watching. 
If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, if you don't like my build, if you love my build, if you tried it out and it worked wonders for you, make sure you let me know that stuff because that's stuff I really want to know. I love getting feedback. So make sure you go and leave a little comment. Like if you like the video and if you didn't like it, that's, that's probably your fault because I'm great. No, I'm joking. If you didn't like it, then you didn't like it. What can you do? And subscribe. Also hit that bell button. That bell is very important. I think. I'm not actually sure, but I assume it's important. But yeah, thanks for watching. And I will talk to my microphone. And then record a video. And you will listen to it next time. <laughs>